Okay. It's recording. Okay. Now, I'm just saying <laughs> that if if the case is that women are considered to be uh, XX and men are considered to be XY, then this proves that if everybody comes from a woman, then it has to be that the nature of God is not the nature of God. It's the nature of the goddess. Because mm. of the fact that you have to come through a woman in order to exist, period. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So there is, that, there like is no why, why. Mm. And the reason why is <laughs> because everything has to come through X in order to get here. So X, 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 Y. No Y, Y. No X, no, yeah, 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 XX. There is XX. You know what I'm saying? You know, XX, XY, but no YY. Because, no, we didn't come from a male. We have to come from the nature of a woman. So the nature of God has to be the nature of the goddess. It has to be the nature of a woman. It don't make any sense otherwise. Tell me how it would make sense. It and would. the way, and in my opinion, with you saying that, the way that uh, man, in general has um, shielded, if you will, that realization is by creating the word of Mother Nature and separate by thereby separating Mother Nature from God. Yeah, yeah, how can when I, in fact I, I all of her, all of God is God. Right. After, all of God is God. Right. Right. After we, um, after we came through a certain period, after we came through a certain um, realization in science, mathematics, and we started realizing, <laughs> and men started realizing that childbirth wasn't such a mystery when you actually knew what happened and knew the mechanics. I think that was when women were starting to be oppressed because mm. women no longer had sole control over their own sexuality, over their own oh, yeah, we need, we need to, It was no longer yes. a secret. How did you know this? Yes. Uh oh, we're talking about this. You keep going. You keep going. No, no. She was talking yeah. about this. But I, I, keep going. I think that because. You know, you're living inside your own body. Some people don't really, you know, think about what's going on and try and make patterns. But there are a lot of women who do. So when, so when the secret of sexuality and the secret of childbirth came about, and when men knew of it, that's when they discovered that they could convert it and they could use it for their own goal. They could control it. And here's, here's another thing. Here's another thing. As, as, as children, we've always been told one of the first things they've always taught us about God is God is love. Yes. As far as we know on this earth, there is no greater love than the love of a mother for her child. Hmm. Hmm. So hmm. if God is love, hmm. then it is the love of the goddess for her children. Hmm. But what about even when we mess up? The father still says it's okay. Yeah. 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 That's what you know, and it's funny because, because you know that also right. what their kids do. They still forgive their kids. Man. They still going to love them. That's regardless. right. Hard. Always yeah. to come home, baby. Right. What? Damn. Okay. Right. What were you about to say? You about to But what about there are there are men, and we're seeing that a lot more nowadays, now that gender restrictions have relaxed the way they have. We've seen that there are a lot more men who love as hard as women do. That's true. But sure. it's because they're appealing to the ex of the X-Y combination. No, I think it's just that now men feel more comfortable expressing it. Right. That's true. The norm. Them, it's innate. It was always there, but now they sure. feel more comfortable expressing it. Because over norms time. change you over time. Like if a, if a father hugs his son, oh man, you gay. Well, now we're encouraging men to, to make, hug their son. One of the things we discuss in our program is there, there are ten things you do daily. You know, make physical contact with your child. Mm -hmm. Encourage your child. Use positive words with your child. So it used to be a time where men hugging each other was, you know, considered gay. Uh, you know, punk, you less of a man. Now it's more of a man if you show that you can be a man by showing another young man how to be a man. You know, and you have to love them to do that. It's funny that you said that because, like, yeah, because in European culture, oh, that's what that is. Exactly, in European it's culture, it's traditional for men to like be affectionate towards one another. 
And this is funny. These are these. This is coming from like stemming from like the fathers of colonization. Mm -hmm. But they they had such like game that their their fuckery and trickery was like they used wisdom against motherfuckers. Correct. You know what I'm yeah. saying? That shit was fucked up. They used wisdom, but it wizardry. is what it is. Yeah, really, yeah, yeah, yeah. Really, 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 what, 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 what you know, the, the purpose that a man is supposed to provide in the creation, I believe, is that we were put here to be guardians. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That the women, the women create and 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 and, and, and preserve what is essential to life, hmm. and the men are supposed to protect that, hmm. protect that from outside threats, things that would destroy that yeah. life. That thing that that's preserving life to to protect that union of of the mother for the children and the love for the children. He's supposed to protect that. When he's not doing that, when he's doing other things, then we see a society in chaos. You know what I'm saying? We see a rebel without a cause. Because the females having to wear numerous ro hats and roses at the yeah. time now, she's got to be the provider, the protector, and right. the conqueror. I was I was watching, Sorry. and that's not her role. I was kind of uh, I was watching a documentary, and it was talking about um, and it was talking about uh, the south side of L.A. and and or the really dangerous parts of L.A. and where the where the gangs all are. And one man, well, not one man, but several people theorized.